Hello again, and you join me in my shed. This is the second episode in a series called Sheddies, where I talk to people in their sheds, workshops, man caves, their own space. This is in two parts. This is the first part. Second part is where we speak to the guy himself. This part, I'm just gonna show you his space. Uh, you might have seen this channel already. Uh, if you haven't, I guarantee it'll blow your mind. But first of all, I've got a bit of a dilemma and I need your help on it. Regular viewers to my channel may have noticed that I've got a bit of a fondness for the Union Jack. There's one on there behind the tool wall. Uh, there's a set of drawers down there with the Union Jack on. And I've been thinking for a while about having a Stars and Stripes, a flag for the US uh, up on the ceiling or on a wall or painted it on a wall, especially in tribute to a lot of my recent American friends from across the pond. And I'll tell you a little story. My son and his friend went over to New York earlier this year and they wanted to take him down to the airport and they said, oh, can we give you some money for fuel money? And I said, no, just get me a, a nice little souvenir from New York. Well, they surpassed my expectations and uh, I'll show you what they bought me. So here's the bag it came in, 9-11 Memorial and Museum. I mean, look at this. A flown flag from the Memorial and Museum. This American flag was flown over the 9-11 Memorial at the World Trade Center on March 15th, 2022. What a superb present, what a superb gift. My dilemma, well, let me just show you what it is first. I'll show you the quality of this flag. Look at the embroidery in that. It comes with a certificate of authenticity. I want to be respectful to this flag of course and this is part of my dilemma uh, respectful first one obvious reason all those innocent people that died on that day and also it's a gift so i want to um, treat it the best i can if i put this on the the ceiling of the shed it's going to get covered in dust or do i put it in a, a frame pretty similar to this box really with a like a wooden box with a glass front on there uh, so I can display it like that, or do I make the box bigger and can display more of it? Or do I open it up and just fix it somewhere in the, in the workshop? I don't know. So um, yeah, I'm asking you guys, what do you think? Or do I just put it away, store it away uh, as a piece of history? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Since I've been on YouTube, it's amazed me how many decent, honest, genuine people they are that are out there talking about their passions and their hobbies and this guy is no exception here he is hey my friends how we doing today it's doug here if y'all never met me before i'm doug <laughs> do i look okay there you go that's doug uh, what a great guy he's got a, a channel called fleets woodshop um, i've been speaking to him on youtube for the last probably the last year Real, genuine, decent guy, and his workshop will blow your mind. I, I guarantee it. Um, he's going to come on Sheddies in part two of this. Uh, we haven't put in a date yet, but it's, I would say, within weeks, not in months, within weeks. And the main purpose of this video is I want to show you a few clips of his uh, workshop and the, his man cave. And if you want to put any comments below on questions I should ask him, I think it's going to be a real good conversation, a real good chat with him. So I wanted you guys to be involved as well. So put your questions below on what we can ask Doug. So he's from Houston, Texas. He's got a workshop that's, I think it's around 2,800 square feet. I might be wrong. Doug will fill his in the, in the, the next episode. But a lot of time, money and effort has gone into this place. And you may have seen him already. You may have seen his channel. Watch the full tour on his channel as well. I'll put the link below. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. This is the real over the top workshop. Subscribe if you're new here. I've got more videos to come. Cheers. So this is his main lobby, I think. He's a contractor as well, so hence all the ladders and step ladders. And this is the first part of his workshop. I mean, look at all the storage boxes there with all the hardware, screws, nuts and bolts. Beautifully labeled, displayed. And look at the inlay in there and the different species of wood that he's used. Um, I think them drawers are continuous grain. So it blends from drawer to drawer. Um, and, and the banding molding around there as well. I mean, 
fantastic. He's actually done a video on those um, uh, handles. They're made out of bolts and nuts. Simple way, but it works very effectively. And if you look at the sliding doors he's got there with tools in, uh, one slides in front of the other and there's more tools behind them. And all the tools <laughs> displayed above, the molding, um, the crown molding around the top there as well. I mean, just look at that, fantastic. And he actually walks on this workbench as well to get to all his uh, compartments. That's some of his drawers open there, using foam to uh, display all his tools. He's done a video on that as well, by the way. And that's a, it's a stainless steel top he's got on there. I mean, beautiful. Just look at the detail in that. A real inspiration, this guy. You can see the passion involved. Milwaukee tools. And there we are, air tools behind that door. And I say this is probably about, this area here is probably about 30% of his whole space. And I say he's a contractor, so he stores a lot of tools here as well. Little wash area, fantastic. You've got to admire someone like this. This is a lifetime's worth of uh, work got in, involved in this. Obviously, the money side as well, he's there's, there's invested a lot. But the effort to get it to this point, you wait till you see the next part. <laughs> that will really blow your mind. Right, this is the next room. Um, band saws there. And look at that table saw. <laughs> the size of it. <laughs> Fantastic. And even the drawers. Different species of wood. Just amazing. All his uh, blades in there. He's done videos on all these little hacks and tips as well. And just look at all them clamps. <laughs> you can never have enough clamps. He did a video on clamps as well, recommending the, the best ones to use. That workbench is something else. I think that's 11 foot long, if I remember rightly. All the old tools displayed above as well. It's collected throughout the years. Now that is a drawer. <laughs> What's that, about five foot long? More storage ideas. And those compartments move from left to right as well, I believe. But if you look on his channel, uh, he's got a full tour. And uh, he's got all the videos talking about what he does. Look at that for a clever idea. More Milwaukee tools. It's never going to run out of batteries. <laughs> one of the things, key, um, one of the things that Doug does is he um, does wood turning uh, with resin and uh, just standard wood. Look at the molding on that, fantastic. All the species of uh, wood in those doors and his dust extraction unit. And this is room number two. Even the, down to the handles on the pillar drill, makes them himself. And he's made some beautiful pieces, some just outstanding. The time and effort he puts into wood turning and the finish. Some of his projects there, by the looks of things. I think, is that underneath his lathe? That, that's just underneath his lathe. Buffer, router table, scroll saws. I mean, look at that, that's just one station. <laughs> ah, it's just unbelievable. Doug, you are a true craftsman. If I had 1% of your talents, I'd be a happy guy. Look at that, all the, you can see the grain as well blends in, like continuous grain 
from drawer to drawer. And this is router table. I love that design with the doors below there, like the cube design. I don't know what what word that is, but yeah, how, he, how he's done that. This sander. Just tools everywhere. I mean, this just, just blows my mind. Every time I see his uh, workshop, all them blanks up there, resin blanks. And obviously he makes these blanks himself out of different species of wood and different colours of resin. This is just awesome. A real inspiration. More old tools displayed above. Look at that for a sander. <laughs> Fantastic. Pressure pots. I think he's made some uh, changes to his shop as well. I think he's got some better pressure pots now as well. But again, go and check his channel out. Watch this channel first though. Watch this video first. <laughs> yeah, so look, if you've got any questions for Doug, have a look at his channel first. Oh, this is it. This is what I was going to tell you about. Spe different species of uh, wood on there. I don't always got, is it under and... Over a hundred different species of, of, of wood on there and he, he, he finishes half of it and then leaves the other half plain. He's always looking for other species of wood as well and he, the people send him different samples. Have a watch of his channel. He's got loads of videos on there. He's got some more. He's, he's had a bit of a break because he's got work commitments. I know he said to me recently that he, he's uploading again soon, but, but there's loads of videos on there for you to have a look through. Um, put any comments below on questions you want to ask Doug because when we get him onto a video call I can ask him what you like within reason of course I'll always give him that option he doesn't have to tell us everything he's, he's going to hold a few things back but but I think Doug is just a true inspiration and he's a top guy as well really funny he's keen on sharing his experience as well and his knowledge and it, that comes across in his videos so Doug if you're watching can't wait to have you on Sheddies it's going to be a great conversation. I look forward to it. And to everyone else, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Cheers. See you next time on Weekend Shedhead.